My name is Grady Rollins. I do construction inspection for Spalding to Decker. And we're in the Rookery Woods subdivision today. And we are doing uh, selective curb and gutter concrete replacement. Once the concrete curb and gutter is completed, we'll come through, we'll mill this asphalt, do joint repairs. Uh, once that's completed, we can pave. The sidewalk replacement program will be completed and we can finally give their residents the subdivision back. All we're doing is selective curb and gutter replacement. We also have a testing company on site that's checking the air entrainment and the slump. And we'll get a report and we'll get cylinder brakes to see what the strength was on the concrete. And I'll just confirm that the concrete come to strength. And if there's any issues, we'll know exactly where they're at. Once they get everything poured, they'll finish it. They'll come back, they'll broom finish the surface, and then they'll apply a, a concrete cure. We're gonna have a milling crew come in probably within the next week and a half or so. Depends on the weather. The weather's been hurting us lately. We'll have a milling machine take out about two inches of the asphalt surface. It's gonna be full width throughout the whole subdivision. Once that's completed, we're gonna do joint and crack repairs. We're gonna take out all the old deteriorated asphalt. So we're gonna clean that up. We'll put in new asphalt, we'll compact it. And then we're gonna pave new asphalt. And that's gonna be consistent throughout each subdivision we do this year. And you see, we had to raise the new concrete about an inch and a half. That's all to get the water to flow away from the crosswalk. If we didn't do that, water would pond, it would freeze in the wintertime, and then you'd have a slip and fall for a pedestrian. So we'll have to come back, we'll remove a little bit more, and we'll, we will get the water to flow, and then that'll eliminate any problems or issues here at this intersection. We're not doing sidewalk ramps now, however, we still have to check that the openings and the slopes for the curb drops are per specification. Um, so when we do pour the concrete ramp, that everything's gonna be legal per ADA requirements. That's why I'm going and checking the widths. We need minimum five feet, and that goes for every crosswalk that you see here today. We got about 9,000 feet of crack repair. We have about just under 2,000 feet of curb and gutter repair. Total milling is right around 18,000 square yards. So that's all got to be repaved. If the weather holds out, hopefully we'll be able to make some productivity and then get out of the subdivision. The residents have been pretty patient. I'm sure they want their sub back.